class. Welcome back for math. Let's go ahead and get started with our subitizing. All right, here's our first one. Don't forget to put up your hands. How many do you see? Three. One, two, three. Very good. How many do you see? Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Very good. How many do you see here? Seven. Five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Excellent. Let's do one more. How many do you see here? One, two, three, four. Very, very good class. Let's go ahead and I will share my screen so we can get started. All right, friends, we just did supertizing. Check. Let's go ahead to number fluency. I would like you to go on YouTube and watch our pink fong song that can help you know what order the number's in and how to write the numbers. If you are getting really, really good at writing the numbers zero through 10, you can totally go on and show me how good you are at writing numbers beyond 10, after 10, like 11 and 12, all the way up to 20. I would love to see pictures of your number writing skills. If you need to take time, pause the video here, fill in your notebook with the numbers. Let's do number recognition once you've done that. Here we go. When I point to the bottom of the number, I want you to say, what number is that? Loud and proud. Ready? Go. Two. One. Ten. Very good. Three. Six. Zero. Four. Nine. Eight. Seven. Keep going. Twelve. Nineteen. 13, 12, 5. Very, very good. Give yourselves a pat on the back. Excellent work. Let's do some shapes. What is this shape? Circle. How about this shape? Rectangle. This one? Diamond. This one? Oval. This one? Triangle. Very good. This one. Did I already do it? Diamond. Very good. This one? Hexagon has how many sides? One, two, three, four, five, six. Very good. How about this one over here? Square. How many sides does a square have? Four. Excellent. Let's go on to solid or 3D shapes. What is this shape that I'm pointing at over here? Look for my clicker. A sphere. It kind of looks like a circle, but remember, it's 3D, so we know it's a sphere. Very good. How about this one? Cube. How about this one? Cylinder. Very good. It looks like a water bottle or a can of soda. It is a cylinder. Very good. How about this one? Prism. Very, very good. This one? Pyramid and cone. Just like an ice cream cone. Very, very good. Let's do a practice problem. Itch, which is lighter. Now, lighter, remember, we did heavier and lighter. And remember when the heavier thing is on the scale or the balance, the heavier thing, does it go to the sky or does it go to the ground? It goes to the ground. So if Miss Houston had her water bottle, remember her big heavy water bottle, and I had this little binder clip, and they were on a scale, which, which way are they going to go? Here's my binder clip. They would go like this. Very, very good. What if I had this big box of notes and this? Which one do you think is heavier? I think this one's heavier, so it's going to go like this. Very, very good. Things that are harder to lift, those are heavier. And things that are easy to lift, like this little binder clip, those are lighter. So this is asking us which one is lighter, between a tea bag and an airplane. Which one do you think is lighter? Which one goes up to the sky? And which one is easier to lift? The T. Very, very good. The airplane would be so hard to lift. I don't even think if all of our class worked together, we could lift an airplane. Do you? I don't think so. But we could easily lift a little bag of tea, right? Right. 
That's why it is lighter. Very good, class. All right, today we are going to practice counting to 19 and making piles of, piles of 10. So we've worked on circling piles of 10 and noticing, okay, I have 10 and I also have some extras, right? So now they're going to make our piles of 10 and our extras, and we're gonna to have to write how many are in each. Do you guys think you can do it? I know you can do it. So let's work together. Look right here at these stars. We see a group of 10. Look how nice they were. They already wrote it in for us. But look at this guy over here, a group of 10 and a group of how many ones? One, one. So I'm gonna put one. So we have a group of 10 and a group of one. Over here, we have a group of 10 and a group of five. So Ms. Houston did the first two, so you kind of get it now. We're gonna count, the, count how many are in each group and put it on the line below. So it told us 10 was in the first group. We had a group of 10 ones and one ones. We had a group of 10 ones and five ones. Now I want you to help me. A group of how many is here? 10 ones, and how many are here? One, two, three, four, five. So what goes on this line? Five, very, very good, very, very good. So this is a group of 10 ones and a group of five ones. Excellent, let's count how many they circled here of the smileys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So how many goes in our first group? 10, very, very good. Oh, Miss Houston, I did a mistake. What should go here? What did I put? Silly me, I put nine. What should I be putting, class? 10, thank you for showing me. You know the right way to do it. Good, so 10 was in our first group. 10 was circled, and how many are extra? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have a group of 10 and a group of seven. Very, very good. All right, let's go ahead and go through here and read them like we, um, they want us to. I have a group of 10 ones and one ones. I have a group of 10 ones and five ones. Now you try down here. I have a group of 10 ones and five ones. I have a group of 10 ones and seven ones. Very, very good. Now we have to draw lines to match the tens and their extra parts to the pictures. So look up here. We have a group of 10. The circles are 10. And how many extra do we have? Just one. So we're looking for a, a picture that says 10 and one. Let me get a line. Tell me which one it is. 10 and one. Here it is. See how we did that? We drew a line to the ten, group of 10 and the group of one. Let's do another one. You count these. 10 and how many? Two. So we should be looking for a group of 10 and a group of two. Where do you see that over here? Do you see 10 and two here? No. Do you see 10 and two here? No, that's 10 and three. How about this one? 10 and two, yes. So we're gonna draw a line and match them. Very, very good. I would like you to do the rest on your own. You can draw them with your finger and Miss Husing is going to draw the lines and see if you got it right. So pause the video here and see if you can get the rest. All right, class, go ahead and check your work and see if that's what you got. Awesome, I'm so proud of you. All right, at the end of this lesson, go ahead and do some math centers. Here are the options of what to do. I will see you tomorrow for more.